Our client, Felipe Curiel, was a 44-year-old who primarily worked in the Port of Los Angeles, picking up and dropping off containers from the ships. Felipe had driven his truck that day to receive large containers of goods from the ships. A driver of a crane which lifts these large containers uh, struck another one while under the influence of marijuana, which struck another uh, container which fell on the roof of Felipe's vehicle, crushing the roof down on Felipe and causing him to suffer severe spinal cord injuries. Felipe, in one sense, is lucky that he didn't die. However, he did suffer a quina injury, which is a spinal cord injury. Yeah, as a result of these injuries, Felipe will never be employable. He will be unable to sit and drive a truck due to the pain. He'll be unable to do any type of lifting, any type of manual labor. You know, the alcohol and drugs was a big problem down at the docks, and it's been a big problem for many, many years. The trial lasted about six weeks. It was hard fought. It was the largest uh, verdict there in the Long Beach court, which historically had been uh, conservative and were favorable to the local employers, such as the stevedore companies that employed many of the longshoremen. Well, as a result of the cases, the uh, defendant has taken strict measures to monitor their employees. They have set up cameras and signs in the parking lots where alcohol and drugs were repeatedly used. I think the harbor is a safer place to work, but it's not totally safe and the fight won't stop now. We've got to continue to be vigilant in bringing these cases and exposing these employers for failing to take measures that would protect the workers.